Hey everyone, my name is Jay and my name is Josh and I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you can be aware whenever we post a defined, inspiring and godly content. It doesn't bite. What doesn't bite? The button. Jay, don't bite. See? You see? Does it bite? No. It doesn't bite. I, I, I think they get it. They get it. I'm not going anywhere. Give it to me. Dele. Give it to me. I won't give the devil a chance to molest you like he molested me. You are the only one I have to turn to. Your plans failed because you don't know my son too well. But I am his father. I know his strengths. I know his weaknesses. Just let me guide you to bring him back home to perfect our plans. Mr. Martins Duro Sonya. <laughs> I was even the one recommended by my No. Everything you're passing through, it's all my making. I'm not going back to that room. Please give us one day, just today, one more day, and you are out of here. If I repeat myself, I promise you, you will lose your job. Now, do you know anybody by the name Inspector General Bade Akin today? Do you collect any money from him? Don't allow the devil to whisper to your ears. Matthias, please, let me understand. Sonia! <laughs> yeah. I think I found the right person for the job. There's a dangerous setup against Martins. How do you know this? I had a revelation. Martins was trapped in a room with fire. He was screaming for help. I got there to save him, but the door was locked. Ah. He needs to be informed. I've called him several days. He won't pick my calls. Why is Martins so angry with us? 
The reason is because he is seeing things in the physical perspective. And the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. <sighs> it hurt me so bad to think that Martin thought we don't love him. Mm. That we accepted him into this house because of money. <sighs> it is very unfair. I mean, Martin is like a son to me. The devil's aim is to tear this family apart. But we will stand our ground in the place of prayer. It is a spiritual warfare. Our Father and our God. The author and the finisher of our faith. We claim, we declare our peace in this raging conflict. We pray for our dear son Martins that you open his inner eyes to see the battles against his soul. I will pray that you shield him from the attacks of the enemy. Oh, Father, lift up his pardon, Lord, so that he will see you in the midst of this conflict, so that he will not lose faith, but rather hold on to you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Delay. Delay. Ah. What is it, Dad? You asking me what is it? Are we not supposed to be in church? It's really not Sunday. V very true, Dad. I slept late yesterday night. My friend, keep your keep your uh, excuse in your pocket. Ah. Uh -uh. This your attitude is not encouraging a convert like me. But that, Dad, you, I read late into the night. You read late into the night. Hmm. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. Daddy, I taught you that verse yesterday. You better get up and go and, 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 go and, go and get, get ready for church. Listen, if I get late to the church today, hey, Dele, don't dare me, because I will flog the living day light out of you. And I'm going to do that right in front of the congregation. If you think I'm the first to flog in the temple, you better ask Jesus. We don't take nonsense. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Brother Martins. How are you? I'm very well, sir. We did not see you in the service this last Sunday. You were also missing in the midweek service. This is very unusual of you. Is anything the matter? No, I'm, I'm, I'm very well, sir. Brother Martins, are you sure? Like I said, I'm very well, sir. This week, Monday, my wife and I were planning to come by your house to fellowship with you and to see how you're fearing. You, you don't need to come, sir. I'm, I'm very well, sir. You are not sounding like yourself. How am I sound? You sound... tired. What exactly is the problem, son? I don't have any problem. I'm very well, sir. Baba, I don't dare here for the past one hour. I know. Anyways, our services are as follows. I they do one hour for thank you. Two hours for 20k. Three hours for 30k. Four hours, 40k. Five hours, 50k. And six hours, 60k, right? Overnight, now 100k. <laughs> Flora, you're expensive, you know? Uh, enjoyment is expensive because we give maximum enjoyment and satisfaction. Who are they we? Our company, of course. Flora, you're a prostitute. I'll be entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Do you even know the meaning of the word? 
Our motto now, once beaten, twice shall. What? It means, say, once we jam you, you go come back again. Why will I want to come back another time? They no burn you well. Uh -huh. You go come back. Because we give maximum satisfaction and enjoyment. Uh, please, please, do me a favor, you know. I want to employ you to remove the word we, you know, from the equation. And um, my business is with you personally and not with the company you claim to belong to. You understand? Now, I sent a picture to your phone. Please check the picture. I'm not here to look at pictures. Check it. That is my target. His name is Martin Storosoya. What's it concern me concern your target? I want you to make him your target also. Baba, now English you still speak. My business is with you, not your target. Me? I don't do prostitutes. Congratulations. If your client want me, make him do normal. Make him come red to find Flora. Because we go give him maximum enjoyment and satisfaction. Here's my business card. Take it. Hey, hey, Flora. Like, um, how much do you make in the month? It is none of your business. No, I just want to know. God, they bless the work of our hands. <laughs> so, if you work hard, you know, you work very, very, very hard, uh, would you make like um, up to 100,000 hours per month? It's still none of your business. You work so hard, I hand so little. You are constantly defied and messed up. Yet for what? For for the urgency for survival or what? what? What an empty and wasteful life. What do you want from me? I want to help you make more money. I don't need your money. Even if it's one millionaire. And why you could give me that kind of money? Look at the picture in front of you. Ah, I go look at him, I go look at him. Ah, one million Arabi, no yawa. Flora, they call you here to sleep with you. I can see that. How many rounds of sleep you go sleep? Where you go generate that kind of money? I want you to take up a different role. You know, something completely different from your line of work. Baba, you they waste my time. I bet talk him, I go act him. The role of a secondary school student. Prostitution, now my job. Acting, now my passion. Now me, be your perfect cast. I'm actually thinking of um, seeing your teacher, Mr. Martin. What for? God has actually used that man for this family and I believe that it's high time that I appreciate him. Okay, let's go. No, no. <laughs> you don't appreciate a man of God like that. You mean Mr. Martin? Yeah. That guy is not just a teacher. He is a man of God. And you see, let me tell you something. I know that one of these days is going to start his church. And if he does, <laughs> I will be the first member of his church. So, how do you appreciate the man of God? Uh, well, I'm actually thinking of putting some money together and then give him a check. Is it necessary? Ah. <laughs> I'm not asking for your opinion about this. What do you even know? Th Dad, I I'm your spiritual father. <laughs> See who is talking. Jolly just come. Huh? You that you are still struggling with church attendance, you are talking about spiritual fatherhood. I'm even growing faster than you are. Let me tell you, the only father that both of us have now is Mr. Martins. That, uh, we had an understanding. Which understanding? 
Do you even understand yourself? Ah, daddy, that dad, does not feel. Does not feel. Church, let's come on. Come on. Get out of my car and go to your class. All right, sir. See you in the afternoon. It's okay then. All right, so have a good day. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Um, I've arranged for a teacher to put you through and uh, make sure everything goes smoothly until your mission is done. How about the tests and exams? Mm -hmm. What about them? I'm going to follow them right tests and exam too. Flora, you are a student, not a prostitute. Your job is to read and pass exams. Bros. Which kind of level be that one now? Ah. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask. Let me ask you an important question. What's your motivation? You know, what drives you? What What's your goal? You want to know what my motivation is. Mm. We give maximum enjoyment and satisfaction. Turn that fire match there. Other you read and pass exam is a problem for you. You are doing one stupid, one stupid enjoyment, one stupid for satisfaction. Are you Are you okay at all? Oh God, beg, leave that side. Now, because you never taste me before. I forbid it in Jesus' name. I will never taste poison in my life in Jesus' name. Your job is simple. Go in there, mingle with the students and eat your target. That's all. Oh God, don't forget how to they read, though. Ah. Are you an illiterate? Why you they ask that kind of question? Ah, because if you're an illiterate, there is obviously a wrong casting. I go to school, but you don't tell where I graduate. Ah, I don't hold bros. Stop giving yourself unnecessary accolades. You're not that old. How old are you? Ah, you just they look me like this, so you and I we are, we are not different in age. Are you mad? What? You sabi my age? You sabi my age too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bros, I beg, no they push me. Which kind of thing be that? Ah, I know my value. What's your value? I they do 10k for one hour. My mates they they, they collect 5k. But me, I they collect 10k. You know why? Why? Because we give maximum See. satisfaction and enjoyment. Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Wrong casting. Wrong casting. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Flora. <sighs> when you get in there, ask for Mr. Wally. He will put you through. Do your best to ensure that this mission is well executed. Martins is your target. Do the job well and you collect your money. Understood? Understood? Good afternoon, Mr. Martins. Good afternoon. We're expecting a fellowship today, sir. On whose command? But, sir, you've not been coming to fellowship, and today is the fellowship revival, sir. I, I am your school teacher, I'm not your pastor. If you need a pastor, you go to the church. I am not looking well, sir. I'm very well, thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Martins? You must be stupid for that question. Am I okay? No, that means I need to go to the psychiatrist. Because I'm not mentally okay. Is that what you are saying? No, that's not what we are saying. Then, so what, I... then what are you saying? What are you saying? Make some sense out of your nonsense. What are you saying? Mr. Martin, this is not you. Get out of my office. You're better than this, sir. What? With due respect, you're better than this, sir. Let's go. No! Today is the fellowship revival. You promised us you would come. You gave us your word. Then I take it back. I am not coming. No, we've already printed out the handbills and the poster with your pictures on them. Students are all waiting for you, sir. I don't, I don't care. You, you, you all can go to hell. What? Sir, what did you just say? What did you just hear, miss? 
No, you didn't just say that, sir. Who are you to dictate what comes out of my mouth and what doesn't? We are your students. We are your disciples. You raised us up. You taught us about Christ and his love. But where is the Christ in you, sir? Young lady, you are crossing your boundary. How can you tell us to go back to the hell that you pulled us out from? I've been there. I've been there and guess what? I'm back and I'm standing. If you have a problem with me, you take me to your pastor. Report me to your pastor. Report me to the principal. Better still, report me to God. But for the last time, get out of my office now. Get out. Mr. Martins, are you okay? Yeah. Calm down. You didn't answer any single question. No be so. Now the question no answer me. Oh. Ah. This is bad. This is very bad. The standard of this school is very high. And I cannot guarantee your entrance into this school if you cannot answer simple questions. I mean, these are elementary questions. Ah, you sir, you even fall my hand. Ah, uh, secondary school question, dear dear, you know, ask me. You can't ask me elementary question. How you won't make I pass this one? Ah, God pass you! Ah, eh, Flora, you sure say you go school like this? Eh, I don't like it, sir. Ah, I know my value and I know my words. Don't insult me. Hello? Eh, sir, thank God. Thank God you are calling now. Sir, we have a very big problem. What is it? Sir, it's about your niece. Sir, she doesn't know anything. They make her know something for God's sake. Sir, that is where the major problem is. I don't know how to. Then why in God's name did they call you a teacher? Sir, I just conducted a test for her. Not quite long. She actually was unable to answer any single question. In fact, you know the standard of this school. I'm not sure they will accept her into this school. I don't give a damn about your academic standard. I give you a lot of money to ensure that she stays in that school for as long as possible. You do your job and let her do hers. Sir, if the authorities find out that I brought somebody in through the back door, sir, I'm done for. Then do yourself a big favor and be discreet about it, Mr. Wally. No sense. Ah, sir. Um, Flora, so. can you at least read and write? Wally? Uh, Martins, Martins. Yes? Um, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I've been looking for you. Where have you been? Well, I've been around. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, is that a new student? Oh, yeah, she's a new student. Okay, I, I need the SS3 timetable and I was told it's with you, so... Whenever you have the time, just send that across to me, okay? No problem. Once I'm done, I'll get it to you. All right, bro. It's not big can carry the whole world to his chest, as in heavyweight lifter. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, Mr. Martin is a better man now. Like, he's everyone's favorite teacher. You mean your favorite? He got the award for the best staff last two weeks. Apparently, those evil spirits that torment his bad moods, they are back again now. He is worse now than before. He shouts at students and sends them out of the class. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That was before. He doesn't do that anymore. What are you saying? Just yesterday, I sneezed and he sent me out of the class. You deserve to be sent out. What do you mean? 
mean? Like, why you sneeze? The whole class shook. How would the man send you out? But it was just a normal sneeze. Normal sneeze. You frightened everyone. Mr. Matis especially. The man almost ran out of the class because of the loudness of your sneeze. Okay, what we not say about a student that was just smiling when he was teaching? He got annoyed and sent his student out of the class. Why was she smiling? Please, is it a problem to smile? Not when class is on. I mean, I can't imagine teaching a class and a student sits at the corner of the class smiling at me for no reason. Oh. It's really weird. See, the point is that this man just wants everybody to act like zombies. Any little action and you're out. And he loves empty threats. You will repeat this class. Out of my class. <laughs> oh, man. But actually, I was really getting to like the man. It's because of him I started attending fellowship. His messages in the school fellowship were amazing. You know he doesn't attend fellowship anymore. In fact, recently, he told two students to go to hell just because he invited him to fellowship. Can you imagine? I can't believe this. Uh. It's true. Oh. Everything's under control. We have the girl in school very close to matters. Oh, good. Good. Now, I hope you know it won't take forever before the authorities realize that she's not a student. Time is not on our side. I understand, Sonia. Mm -hmm. So we have to move very fast. She has to strike very fast. She will. Very good. and the greenhouse effect. The concept of global warming and the greenhouse what? Effect. Very good. The glass root structure in which plants are grown is called a greenhouse. It's called what? It's called a greenhouse. Very good. And usually the walls of the greenhouse, the, usually the walls are also made of glass. You need to understand this point. The walls are made of glass. Good afternoon, Mr. Martins. How are you? I've been hearing rumors, sir. What rumor? I heard that you refused to come to the fellowship. That is true. But why, sir? Lily, it's personal. This is unlike you, sir. Dede, look, my decision not to come to the fellowship, it's personal, okay? So, I expect you to respect it. I, I respect your decision. And more importantly, I respect you, sir. But I would like to know why you are pulling out when the harvest is ripe and ready. Today at the fellowship, we had the largest number of students. They were craving to hear from you. They wanted to hear your testimony. For the first time, they had found a teacher they could relate with. But you were not around. And when many of them saw this, they withdrew and they left the fellowship. I am not their Messiah. See, that's the impression I want to correct. They shouldn't be come to the fellowship because of me. No, 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 they shouldn't. <laughs> Mr. Martins, it is not you they've come to see. It is God in you. Sir, your story is a challenge. Your past, as terrible as it was, has become like a healing balm to so many other students. Sir, you are a testimony that there is no life so rotten that Jesus cannot restore. Sir, your sermon in the school fellowship challenged me. It gave me the confidence to speak out when I was slowly dying in the prison of molestation. I have heard you, Dele. Alright? No man is perfect. Today I'm not in the right frame of mind to attend the fellowship because I'm passing through a challenge. If I go there and preach now, it's not going to be good. So I, I need time for myself. I need time to heal. Are you hurting, sir? <laughs> like I said, it's personal, Dele. Sir, you told me the story of two houses. One was built on the sand and the other on the rock. A great storm came and destroyed the house on the sand. The same storm hit the house that was built on the rock, but it was still standing. Yes, the, the, I, I don't understand what you say. What does that relate to what I'm talking about? Mr. Martins, if you are not standing, then what are you built on? Yes? 
Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. You want to see me? Yes. All right, Dele, we'll have to continue this conversation another time, so you'll have to excuse me now. Okay? Dele, when I said excuse me, I mean leave. Okay, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. You're a new student. Yes, sir. My name is Flora, sir. How can I help you, Flora? I have a challenge, sir. What is it? Sir, Miss Lulena, what others read and assimilate once, it takes me forever to assimilate. I need help, sir. Laura, you need to understand that the bulk of the work is in your hands. Do you understand? Alright, no one is done. No one is done. All you need to do is to work harder. I'm tired of working hard, sir. Why? <laughs> My parents. They sent me out of the house because they are disappointed in me. I currently stay with my uncle and he's also threatening to send me out of the house. Flora, I understand what you're passing through. I can relate to it. You know why? Because my father sent me out of the house too. Alright, but you know what that experience taught me? It taught me to be independent and courageous. Alright? Every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. So I feel like quitting. Quitters never win. And winners never quit. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. I feel much better, sir. I'm, happy. I'm glad you do. Well, one more thing, sir. What is it? Please, sir. Can I come to your place after school for extra lessons? You've inspired me to be a better person. My my place? Yes, sir. Your place, sir. Uh, you, you, you mean my house? Yes, sir. Your house, sir. I can come to your house in the evening. Sir. No, 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 you can't come to my place. That will not be possible. Okay? Uh, but I will still think about it, and if anything changes, I will let you know. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Do have a lovely day. Good afternoon, Dad. Good day. I am so disappointed. Inu, sir. Mr. Martins. Mr. Martins? Yes. Why? What happened? I left office very early today. Just to go and appreciate this man for the way that God has used him to help this family out of trouble. And I was with this check. To give to him as a gift. But you saw him shouting on top of his voice. And I was curious to know why. I moved close and I saw him shouting on these students. And you know the reason? They were actually inviting him to come to the fellowship. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I I don't understand. Same here. I find it difficult to reconcile how the same man whom God used to take this family out of hell, tell these students to go back to hell. Oh God. Something is definitely wrong. We need to pray for him. Pray for who? Mr. Martins? I can't waste my prayer on such a man. He's a hypocrite. Dad. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says that we should look unto Jesus because he's the author and finisher of our faith. Man will surely fail, but Jesus is the only perfect example we have. Mr. Martins is going through some things right now and he needs our help. He's hurting that and he needs our prayer and more than ever before. As Christians, we are not to live a life of condemnation. When a brother falls, it is our duty and responsibility to help him back up in the place of prayers. We need to pray for him, Dad. Okay. It's getting late. I'm not comfortable with this travel. My spirit is restless. I need to see Martins. Then let's call him again. He know we have called him several times, but he won't pick our calls. Then let him be. He is our son. A boy who has no value for his father cannot be called a son. We took money for his welfare. So what? Whose fault is it? Daddy, why is Martins making it look as if we took a bribe? You have been too soft on him. You have been too soft on that boy. Let him 
be. Mommy, that boy is my responsibility. God brought him into my life and I must not give up on him. But he has given up on us. No, 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 that is what the devil wants us to think. That's what the devil wants us to believe. And I refuse to believe that because he is still our son. Mommy. Mommy. There is a battle going on. He needs us more than ever before. Remember the revelation I told you? That boy was trapped in a room with fire. And I tried to open the door for him. But it was too late. There is a rising fire. And I need to open that door before Martins gets trapped. Hello? Hello? I am ready. Alright, now. Now, start going to his house now. When you get to his house, make sure you do everything within your power to make him allow you to come in. Now, when you enter, then you wait for my call and then start the drama. What drama? I, I thought you'd been through this now. Then what happens? The policeman will bust in and arrest Martins. On what charge? Ah. On the grounds of uh, molestation and assault. You know, if you play your part well, everything will work according to plan. I don't have any problem playing my part. But I'm concerned about your men. What if I shout and scream and they don't come in? I'll look like a fool before Mr. Martins. Like I said earlier, you just play your part and leave the rest. Eh? When you play your part well, everything will fall according to plan. Now, wait for my call. I repeat, wait for my call before you start the drama. Do you understand? Where are you? Don't worry about where I am. I'm very close by. I'm very close by. Don't forget, your war millionaire ticket is, is, is in today's show. You can either earn it or you lose it. It depends on how well you play your part. Best of luck. Father, we present Mr. Martins to you. Yes. We don't know what is passing through. But we pray that your mighty hand will sustain him and he will not fall by the wayside. <laughs> we pray that he will not fail you and he will not falter. Sonia. Yes. We are ready. Good. Move. The Bible says, when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard against it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Give the phone to the person in charge. Lord, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Who is on the line? My name is Bade Kolapo, the former Inspector General of Police. Sean, sir. Right away, sir. Save Mr. Martins from every trap and deception of the enemy. Sir. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ah. ah, oh my God, Flora. Mr. Martins, 
It has happened again. What, what happened? My cousin. <laughs> he forced himself on me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Please come. Please come. Flora, this court is deep. See, you need to go to the hospital. No, I don't want to go to the hospital. What are you talking about? Why? Because he might find me there. And God knows the unspeakable thing he would do to me. Uh, listen to me, Flora. Look, you're safe. Nothing is going to happen to you. Sir, we are ready, sir. We are on standby. All right. Good. You have a call. It's him. Who? The man who has been molesting me all these years. Then you don't have to pick his call. Moving. Guys. I'm not going to. Because, in actual fact, he's right here, looking at me in the face. I trusted him. I thought he was a good person. I thought he was a good teacher. But, I never knew was a rapist. Flora. Flora, what, what are you talking about? Everyone thinks he's a hero. But, he's the devil's incarnate. And what is his name? It's my son! Uh, Baba Guerrero. I'm so happy to see that you are doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, but what, what are you doing here? I, I came to see you. What for exactly? I mean, to spend the night with you. There are a lot of things to talk about, to trash. Yeah, 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 but can't it wait for another time? Where am I going to stay? You know, it's late already. Oh, God, you should have told me. Yeah, but I'm here, Martin. I'm here already. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Good afternoon, sir. Ha. What are you doing at this late hour? Baba Miro, as you can see, she's hurt. That's not a question to ask someone who is obviously in pain. Young lady, answer my question. What are you doing here at this late hour? I was... No, she was uh, molested and the best place she could find uh, refuge was... Uh, is uh, with, with, with me in in, in in the in the house. Molested by who? Uh, well, she was molested by her by by her, by her. Martins. <laughs> that question is not meant for you. I'm not talking to you, Martins. Molested by who? By my cousin, sir. I live with his dad, my uncle. But unfortunately, he's not around, and his son forced himself on me. I have nowhere to go, sir. You see that? You see that? She has no business explaining all this to you, but you just have to hear everything. Martins, how well do you know this lady? Well, I I, I, I met her in school. Today, today was the first. Today is the first time. <laughs> you met her today for the first time. Yes. And you have never seen her before in the school premises. No, but for today. No. Why are you asking? Hmm. Martins, Martins. Martins, do you know Ludo Game? Uh, that, that, that question is, is, is completely relevant. It doesn't make any sense. Answer me. Answer my question. Do you know Ludo Game? Yes, I know Ludo Game, sir. That's exactly what you are playing with the devil. That's what you are playing with the devil. Young lady, I give you this minute. Get out of this place. We just sent out the compass, sir. In a few seconds, I will be entering the house. No, 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 she's going nowhere. Get out of this house now! Not under my watch! <sighs> Muffins, you are a blind watchman. Please, sir. Please don't drive me away. I have nowhere to go. She has nowhere to go. 
Hey! What's your motive, young lady? What are you talking about, sir? What are you talking about? Somebody sent you to this house. Nobody sent me here, sir. About Bingo, how can you be so mean? How can you talk to her like that? What's wrong with you? This lady was not molested. I was. She actually came here to molest you. It's a lie. But your, 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 words, your words are irritating me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Matthias, there's a battle going on right now. And you are in the middle of the battle. I saw a revelation. I saw a very serious revelation. You were trapped in a fire. A fire you could not survive. This lady represents the fire. And I'm going to open the door of escape. Bagbiru, I'm here to open the door of your exit. Get out of my house. This lady is an agent of darkness. What is your agenda, young lady? I don't have an agenda. Ba Bagbiru, your words are irritating me. Get out of my house. Get, I'm done with you. Get out of my house. What's your plan? I don't have a plan. For God's sake, be reasonable. Be reasonable. Mountains. No sensible lady that will escape. Sexual so assault from a man and go to the house of another man. A man she just met that very day. You have an agenda, young lady. I don't. You have an agenda. I don't. You have an agenda. I don't. We are approaching the stairs, sir. What's your plan? I don't have Stop a plan. It. What's your plan? I don't have a plan. Tell me your agenda. Get your hands up. 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 What? The lady, she's out. What do you mean she's out? Oh Abort! 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 What nonsense? Damn. I've just pulled you out of fire. Doesn't even make any sense. Martins. She has a friend she could go to. But she chooses to come to this place. You just met her today and she could know how to locate you exactly. <sighs> Martins. No, 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 no. No, you can't do this. You can't. You can't come to my house and embarrass my guest. This can't happen under my watch. Hmm. Hmm. Open your eyes widely, Mr. Watchman. Some people are watching you. Martins, some people are watching you. Some people are watching you, Martins. Oh, I swear, I swear. I hate you. I love you, Martins. to warn Martins. You must be kidding. I am not a kid. I saw what I saw. He looked me straight in the eyes and asked who sent me. 